Hi friends, if you are thinking about pledging your existing shares in Zerodha and get margin against them for trading, you can do that. Shares which are in your DMAT account and are part of your long term holdings can be pledged easily within the Zerodha info interface. So we are in the Zerodha Kite app. Within the Kite app, go down over here to the menu option or your profile option. Within profile, there is a console option where you find portfolio. So let's click portfolio to begin our pledging process. Within portfolio, you can see your holdings and you can see all your stocks and mutual funds in one screen. So you can see over here, I can see all my holding stocks over here. Now, if I want to pledge any one of them and get margin against them it's a pretty simple process but remember a couple of things that in zerodha the margin is given on t plus one so there is a cutoff of 2 pm and 5 pm so all requests which you place before 2 pm today on a market day you will get the margin tomorrow all requests placed by 5 pm again you will get margin uh, tomorrow so you have your two cutoffs over here these are the times when they process all requests together uh, a stock broker called dhan where i have recently opened an account they claim to give instant margin i'll give you an account or i give you a link to open zero and dhan accounts both below also pledging comes with a lot of rules i want you to understand these rules well i uh, I will make a separate video on these rules and give you a link in description for the same. These rules are extremely important. Also, if you are doing pledging and using margin, I hope what you understand the risks involved along with it. I am merely showing you the process of how it is done and I am not encouraging you to do this and take risky trades. Please do remember that. In fact, if you look at my portfolio, I am largely a long term investor myself and I do not do much trading and speculation. So for pledging, select any stock which you want to pledge. In our case, say we are selecting Tata Motors over here. I will click on Tata Motors and you will see there is an option called pledge for margin. I will click pledge for margin. I have sent 17 quantity over here. Stock value is 483. There is a haircut of roughly 18%. So for every stock you pledge, Zerodha will give us 397.41 rupees. So I can say I agree to these terms. I can put the quantity as say 10 and I will basically get roughly 4000 rupees of margin. I can click submit to go ahead with this. Now when you submit this and your margin details is sent, remember that you may get an email from CDSL to approve this. To approve this on CDSL, you will have to log in with your PAN number and put an OTP in to approve this margin. Let me show you how that interface also looks. So friends, um, as expected, what we have over here is actually an email from CDSL to approve the pledging. So uh, we can just approve the pledging by clicking here and I will show you the full process. But do remember, watch out for this email. This email came a little after 5 p.m. for me. So after the request is sent to CDSL, this email lands in your inbox, even if you have POA with Zerodha. So let's complete this process. So I have clicked on the given link and uh, over here, I need to enter my PAN number to proceed. Alternatively, you can also put a DMAT account number, but who remembers that, right? So I'm going to put my PAN number. After putting my PAN number, I will click submit here. Okay, after entering the PAN number, no verification was done. It shows me my two pledge transactions. I can verify these transactions over here, generate OTP, enter OTP and submit it. And I'm going to just do that and show you once the margin is available in my account tomorrow. So friends, this pledge request has been successful. If we go and look at Mahindra and Mahindra over here in my portfolio, you will see I have zero quantity in ready and I have six quantity in pledged which is denoted with a p over here so in my if i go to my funds and show you the margin so you will see over here under the equity segment i now have an additional 10000 rupee margin and my cash plus collateral margin is now updated
So you will see this is cash plus collateral over here and that's how Zerodha defines it. So I hope this has been a good video for you and it has helped you. If that's the case, please do hit the like button.